What's going on guys? My name is Dave Higgins. Welcome to Sandbox Explorer. All right, it's the day after Christmas and a few days ago or so I picked up this game. Um, Ultra Off-Road Simulator 2019 Alaska. So um, it was on sale for two bucks instead of or like $1.89. I'm going to just open it up instead of like 20 bucks almost whatever it normally is so i jumped on it because i've been interested in it it looks like it's really good um looks like the graphics will be good and stuff like that uh so you can set your language you can be english i don't know that flag uh french german and russian so um we're gonna speak english because i speak english um also where am i brand new Keisha Strain with, it's actually kind of, <laughs> you can see through it because it's green, but it's the Bubble Bobble guy, um, Lauren got it for me. I've never played Bubble Bobble, but maybe I have to now that I have this shirt. So, uh, we got settings, brakes left, right, accelerate, uh, handbrake, handbrakes for the first trickers of the ZL and ZR, you get it, you can read. Um, control the wheels. See, shift gear forward, shift gear back is A and B. Um, lights are X. Cool. Y is uh, switch engine on and off. And then change the camera, obviously. Gear control switch. Camera zoom. Camera zoom in and out is up and down on the directional pads or D pad if you have a pro controller. Um, oops. And uh, yeah, so that seems. Get volume. Sensitivity, we can change that vibration. Reverse cameras, Y and X axis. So cool. Oh, I was hitting A. Alright, so what's this here? Player's car. Tamarat Hulk. Alaskan. Oh, yo. Oh, dude. It's like a Jeep straight up Wrangler, basically. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's cool. Air um, I don't know if I want to go with like this Wrangler looking dealy, or if I want to go with this, uh, looks kind of like a Grand Cherokee, although it's not exactly a Grand Cherokee, but it kind of looks like one. But, in honor of my buddy Kyle, uh, we're going to go with this one, and we're going to make it red, because it's going to look the most like two Jeeps that he had. Also, he has a channel, um, Gnarly Knives and Outdoors. Check them out if you're into knives and stuff like that. Uh, he reviews them and all that. Um, so shout out to you, Cal. You're the man. Um, so what do we got? Background. Th <laughs> it's customizing. Background theme. Oh, very cool. Oh, very cool. Oh, I like that one. All right, we're going to go with the mountain one. Free ride mode, new game. So we're going to go. We probably should do the tutorial. I guess we'll go to the tutorial. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do the tutorial. Because I don't know what I'm doing. So, to my knowledge, this game is basically like off-roading. You just kind of have to go from place to place, kind of like point A to point B type things. Um, and you have to, you know, it's not like a just drive over it like Grand Theft Auto. You have to actually go through the terrain, which is difficult to maneuver through. Um, oh man, am I on fire? Press ZR to drive forward. Oh. I don't know what this just said. It's probably saying go backwards. Oh, Lauren's playing Pizza Bar Tech. Handbrake. What did it just say to do? Oh, I shut the engine off. A barrel of fuel appeared in front of you. Collect it to be able to refuel the vehicle. Okay. I probably could have driven over the rocks because that's part of the point of this. Oh, okay. In the game, you'll find three types of fuel canisters. Small, medium, let me make sure I'm recording, um, and large, each with different capacity. Press the minus button to open items menu. <laughs> this is a hot dog. So there's uh, fuel, get a large fuel canister, medium and small. We have two of the large, three of the medium. You can have pizza, 
Gonna have a hot dog. Gonna have a drink. Gonna have toolbox, toolbox, toolbox. Bigger, smaller, smaller. Bigger, medium, small. All right. Oh, I said select the fuel. I, oops, I did not mean to take a screenshot, but I did. So select. I guess we'll just do like the large one for now. Good job, or yeah, good job. Now we can continue. Press the y, uh, whatever button, minus button to close the all items menu. Press Y button to start the vehicle again. Okay, so we can collect that. Oh no, I didn't use the other one. Should use the other canister. Oh well. Oh, I can shift gears. I'm in like very high acceleration. I wasn't expecting to go so fast yet. These are food rations. Pizza, hot dog, drink. I like how hot dog is a dash in between it. When the driver's driver starts to feel hungry, it will cause difficulties in driving the vehicle. <laughs> okay. Remember about regular meals and pay attention to your hunger inside and outside of the game. Inside and outside of the game. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry. All right. That's interesting. I'm not sure if I like or dislike that at this point. It's, it's interesting. I changed it. You can s switch to being an automatic or manual. Splendid. <laughs> Keep following the road until you reach a blinking green area. That will mark the end of this tutorial. Manual. Whoops. Whoa, no, 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 no. Uh oh. I, I, I know I said not to, but I did leave the game area. Uh, so do I have to start the <laughs> tutorial over? Oh, okay. But at least we know what we're doing now. Okay. A barrel of fuel appeared. Okay, that's what it said. I didn't know that's what it said. <sighs> this time we know what we're doing. Oh, yeah, so I can, I can collect that now. See, that's the way to do it. And then we're gonna collect the pizza. Oh, the pizza and all that inside. Oh, no, 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 no. I like you can do it manual and automatic. Cause like, if you want to, oh no, don't do it again. Don't do it literally two times. Oh, by the way, the reference was to um, Maryland and Donnie Jeb. <laughs> Actually, was that the name? Sorry, Maryland and... I forget what the second one was called or the first one. I, I apologize, Kyle, I forget. Splendid. Keep following the road. Yeah. Those were Kyle's Jeeps. He had two of them, two Cherokees. How I got stuck, but I did. Kyle doesn't have a switch, but he said that he was interested in one, or at least in playing some. Oh, here's this flashing green area. I'm assuming uh, playing one because playing it because of um, a black flag because he's related to Bartholomew Roberts. Where dun, 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 dun. Well, we did the tutorial. I thought it was gonna be longer than that, so that's actually pretty cool. All right, so it sounds like doodle -do 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 -do. I thought it was. Oh, I was thought. Here we go. All right, so we're in Alaska. There's different areas to get through. Careless, full speed driving can end up with empty fuel tank and a damaged vehicle. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm surprised. I don't remember it saying anything about fixing your vehicle with the tools in the tutorial, but we got the tools that I can imagine that you just fix different amounts of damage with them, so. Delicious. All right. Oh, probably should turn my engine. Oh, my engine's off. Let's turn the engine on. Go into first, um, uh, let's try manual. I'm not, I drive automatic, so you might judge me, but whatever, I, I drive automatic. So, I'm not amazing with gears, Alright, I'm switching to automatic, I'm sorry. Oh, maybe once I get the hang of it more. Whoa, camera angle. Is there a delay on it right now? 
Or is it just delay on the... I'm actually going to... I can't change this. Wait. Oh, advanced car settings. Press the left stick. I am pressing the left left stick. Press advanced car settings. I am doing such a thing. Um. Oh. Oh, you do it literally. Whoa. Minimum RPM. Maximum RPM. Maximum power. Use force induction. Spool time. So I'm not like a huge like gearhead. So I don't really know too much. So this is all kind of like, but uh, target shift down RPM, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm not going to look at that right now because I don't know. But if you know, then you might enjoy this game. I'm also, it's weird that there isn't, I'm going to go to the main menu and switch, switch the uh, camera real quick. I would like to invert... I feel like it has inverted x-axis already, which is weird. So let's get going back into it. The music's alright. The music's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> it does remind me of uh, Midnight Rider. But look different. Yeah, okay, now when I go left and right, so apparently it's inverted automatically. All right, now the camera angle I like. I like to have like inverted Y axis and like regular X axis, but it seems like they're literally both the opposite way to start this up. All right. So it looks like you're supposed to drive through a level basically. Like get from point A to point B kind of thing. Also, I'm I'm right in the middle of the mini map, so Ooh. this game doesn't look as visually striking as I had imagined it to be. And I feel like the screenshots showed it looking better than this. Uh, I don't know if this is on other systems, but <clears throat> if it is. I'm assuming they're using screenshots from other systems, which, I mean, this doesn't look bad, it looks, it looks pretty good, look at the trees, look pretty decent, it kind of pops in and out, renders in and out, let's grab, let's grab some of that fuel, oop, oop. this is like a lot more realistic in, um, also, where do you look at your, like, hunger, oh, it's right there, alright, so I'm a little bit hungry, yeah, you drive better when you're not hungry, so let's eat some, uh, some pizza, Did I do it? I took a screenshot again. I thought I'd just press A. Did I just shut the vehicle off? <laughs> you have to literally shut the vehicle off. That's hilarious. Alright. Let's turn it back on. So you have to just... Ooh. You have to get to... Point, from point A to point B. But in order to do so, you need to not run out of... Like, fuel and... Hunger and all that. Oh, here we go. Ooh. 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 Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh, -oh. uh -oh. Oh, so I feel like that, um, I feel like that gauge on the top of that meter, oh no, that meter on the top is probably, once you fill that, wow, I'm, <laughs> if you fill that up, I'm assuming that is when you lose, because that's like maximum damage, I thought it would like start from like maximum and go down, but it appears to not be doing so. Yeah, ooh. Uh, that's one thing. It looks like I hit the tree. I didn't really hit the tree. Um, it's This is not as bad as Woven with that. Um, I would... I, I feel like for a game like this especially, it would be better to have 
realistic, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, I made it to the thing. Like, uh, per, uh, not parameters, perimeters? I don't know. When I'm close to something, I should, if I don't hit it, I shouldn't hit it. Um, I apologize for not knowing my, how to speak at all right now. Do I, now do I carry anything over? It seems like it. Now we're in a snowy part of Alaska. Now it seems like there was also a free ride mode where you can, oh, and the terrain is different. Or like, I'm sorry, the terrain is like different, so the re it reacts differently. I can, t I can tell, I can just feel it like driving differently. I like how it leaves the tire tracks in the snow. <laughs> oh, 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 I almost drove off the side of, well, I, I could actually technically, seems like I could probably do that. Let's try it out. I'm afraid. Probably shouldn't do this. But, we're off-roaders. <laughs> Here we go. Not bad. Um, I wouldn't mind if the, uh, um, the sound effects are a little bit loud. Like, not that I expect it to be quiet, but, like, it seems like they are either one extreme or the other. But, like, whatever. Not, I could be just judging that poorly at the moment. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, we got this. We got this, homies. We got this. Now, I don't know what this is going to look like on handheld. I'm really hoping that it looks no different. Or very similar, because if it looks like not this, not close to this good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. You know, I I'm, I'm hopeful that it looks good on... If it looks relatively close to this on handheld, I'll be happy. Because... Uh-oh, oh no! Yeah, so the meter's going up as we see. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, George. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, it's a tree. Christmas trees. Yeah, I didn't make. I didn't have time to make any videos over the past few days because I'm busy with Christmas. Christmas. So, um, you know, I want to make sure I got a video in after Christmas because I, I don't want you guys to think I forgot. <laughs> I won't forget. I'll, I'll always be around. I've actually been pretty consistent with making like without having a lapse in time. Like there was a few periods of time since I've started that I haven't really been able to make videos. I've been busy, too busy to do it. But I've had a um, pretty consistent flow of them, I think, at least. I don't know. Let me know if you feel differently. But, um, you know, I try. Oh, God. I should probably not go down because I have to go up. I want to go over that, honestly, but I feel like I should be going up. We should also probably fix the vehicle. I'm pretty sure I have a toolbox. Maybe I don't. I hope I do. Let's go. Blech. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that reminded me. Oh god, maybe I should have gone down. Yeah, we're gonna go back down. Alright, so we're gonna get to do the thing I wanted to do. Um, that reminded me that today I got a surprise. I saw, I went onto Google just to look for something, and a little article came up, and it said that the Keisha Strain dropped a new album today. And it's more like an EP, it's like seven songs, and it's cool. It's called, um, It Comes in Waves. And it's basically like uh, seven songs that all kind of like tie together like one big song. Um,. And all of the albums, I mean, sorry, all of the song titles, like, in, uh, consecutively going through the album, they, like, form a, a sentence, and it's really cool. Oh, yeah, see, like, all of a sudden, the the gears got, uh, the engine got really, really loud. And it just, it sounds like it's too, like, a... It sounds like it should, that needs to be altered a little bit. But it's not, it's not, like, terrible. It's just something I noticed. Alright, let's, uh... We do have a toolbox, so let's, uh... Let's break. Shut off the engine. Uh, okay, I feel like I should be able to put the parking brake in. I didn't see that in the controls. There should definitely be a parking brake, especially in this game. Um, so we're gonna refuel... Although, I don't really see it changing. But, we just tried to refuel. Um, let's have a pizza. 
Yeah, I, I, I'm a little bit concerned that the fuel didn't seem to change. But let's see how much change. All right, so I'm using a medium toolbox. Didn't seem to do it. Oh, oh, I just wasted a bunch of fuel that I could use because it didn't. It changed on the menu. Uh, I'll start the vehicle. It changed on the menu for just the food, but it didn't change for anything else. So I just wasted a bunch of resources that are going to probably be more necessary to have uh, soon. And I'm going to be really disappointed. I'm going to be really disappointed if I don't come across any. Let's go. Oh, also, the um, that Acacia Strain album is bomb. It's like different. It's very. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. It's like not. It's not like a lot of their last albums they've released in a while, but it's really good. It's like really interesting. It's cool. I dig it. So. Check it out if you like the Acacia Strain. Or if you like good metal or want to discover a good metal band. Uh oh, oh god, this is gonna be horrible. Oh no, oh no, look at all that damage. Oh. Well, at least I know that the medium one's 30,000, so we still have like double. Oh god, I'm about to get that double right now. Alright, let's go. I can't get up this, can I? I should probably find a different way up. Uh oh, it's right, right into the tree. Did the tree move? That's hilarious. Right, let's just power up this thing. Let's see if we can do it. Nope. Nope. Literally not even close. Shoot. Alright. We gotta get up there somehow. Just burst blown through fuel. So, it seems like the terrain is acting like it's snow, but it's really just rocks. I mean, I guess there's, like, snow on it, but not that much, so... I'm um, just... Just... Blowing through fuel right now. This is bad. Oh god, this is bad. I'm gonna run out of fuel, aren't I? Oh... Crap. Alright, let's go around. I don't know how far this goes. Oh my goodness! Well, the good thing is you can sort of do like the GTA style, like when you fall in your back of your car, you can like flip it over just with your uh, left analog stick. Uh oh, I'm afraid about. Oh, here we go! A pizza. So this is where we came from. I'm pretty sure we came from this way. So we need to go. Let's conserve some fuel. Let's just let let's just let ourselves roll down this hill a little bit. This is like survival mode. Alright, so we should probably try to stay on the path a little bit, because that way we'll come across some some fuel, hopefully. go. America! Oh god. Oh jeez. So we're right back to where we were. So we weren't really too far off. So I just wasted a bunch of gas trying to get to that. I need to get over this. This is like... Oh no. Oh god. If I reach single digits, which I'm going to momentarily, I need fuel. I don't have any fuel. We had so much fuel. Oh no. What? I'm very oh I'm very damaged. Oh, I need to shut it off, don't I? I just cut the engine. <laughs> Can I just do it while Oh I only had that one. I need to be parked, I'm I'm sure. Oh, we can go this way. Man. Alright, so now we healed our car a little bit. Alright, let's go. Oh god, we're about to be in single digits. Oh god, we're so close to not having any fuel left. Was it supposed to go up that way? Maybe. 
This is like... I, I gotta make a decision and just stick with it. I'm gonna go up. What? I feel like this is the wrong way to go. But it's towards the... Well, whatever. Let's go this way. Oh, no. Okay. No, we're okay. Alright, I need to find a way down this hill. I mean, down this mountain. Oh, the lights. You can put the lights on and off with X. That's right. I need to get down here without using, like, basically any fuel. Let's go, America! Oh, oh, uh. Right, pizza. Pizza doesn't really help me right now. I can't put pizza in my gas tank. Oh, we're about to get stranded in Alaska. So damaged, too. Oh. Oh, I don't have a fuel tank. Oh, no. Game over. Do I have one? No. Stop teasing me. Well, now what? It doesn't automatically tell me, like, too bad. Oh, I can restart the level. <laughs> Do I have all my fuel back? Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't mean to use... Eat that, but that's okay. Now we get full this and that. Okay. Well, at least now that we know what we're doing, we should probably actually be able to do this right. Alright, so let's go. Yeah! Um, yeah, we're gonna go down this again because we can. Shortcut! Uh oh. Here we go. Right, let's follow the path. Like how it's got the, uh, uh... Oh, here we go. The brake, um... Man, I literally forget everything. I seem like I'm wicked dumb with cars right now. Like, I don't know, like, a lot of, like, advanced stuff, or just even so. I'm not really, like, very knowledgeable with cars. But, um, I know basic things that are on the dashboard and stuff, but I literally forget. Oh, God! I literally forget what it's called. Anti-lock brake? No, that's not what I'm thinking. Just you're, when you slip, when it's like, oh, no, like, terrain, slippery terrain. I like how that keeps going on and off with the snow. Also, I apologize for not knowing the terminology off the top of my head right now. It's because I'm on the spot. Being on the spot makes me forget things, <laughs> literally, that I know. Often. It's pretty terrible. Because, like, as soon as I, I finish the video, I'll remember it and be like, that was what it was called. Whoops. Right into a tree. I like how the trees, like, uh, like flop a little bit. Right, let's get over this. We can do it. I believe in us. I guess it's probably not realistic to drive up that, but also, I feel like we can. I feel like it's possible. I guess not. We're just going to be getting rid of fuel at way too, way too fast of a rate uh, if we keep trying to do that. So we won't. I'm, I'm assuming that free... I don't know how big the map goes. I don't know if you select a map for free ride mode. Or if you just, or if it's all, like, I don't know if it's, like, separated into, like, different maps that you select from, or if it's, uh, words, or if it's, like, one big map and you can go through the whole thing. I'm assuming it's not, because that would be cool, but I feel like it's probably not that way. I basically want to, like, drive a truck through Skyrim. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. We can do this. We can do this without completely destroying our vehicle. This is going to be dangerous. Look at this incline. Shush! Am I stuck? What? Alright. 
Let's go. Oh. What is this? Uh, well, let's refuel, I guess. Oh, I pressed B. Which is weird. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna America hit. Oh, God. That worked out literally as perfectly as possible. I don't even think there was any damage on that. Wow, we just, we just, oh, uh, okay, so I don't know if you can see it anymore. The plane of vision's kind of like, you don't see very far. It would be nice to be able to see a little further, although that's only in this. I don't know if it's because it's like snowy. Oh, we made it. We made it to the thing. Oh, yeah. I wonder if the plane of vision's further in like a non sort of snowy like area, although it's Alaska, so it's probably going to be mostly snow, but we shall see. She was divinity's creature that kissed and called Miraz. A queen of snow. <laughs> um, I don't know why. Oh, it's loading. 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 So there's no snow. The field of vision's not very far. It doesn't really need to be exactly. But open world kind of game this is like, I don't know if this is exactly open world but like open world sort of exploratory games being able to see farther is definitely like it would be really nice to see a bunch of mountains it's Alaska, Alaska is beautiful so it would be really nice to be able to actually see that scenery a little further back so I'm a little disappointed that that's not as much of a thing with this but I mean I don't know I'm, I'm enjoying this It's I paid $2 for it so it's definitely it's definitely worth two bucks. You can decide for yourself whether or not you think if, if you see this not at a time where it's on sale for two bucks, you can decide if it's worth full price for yourself. It's debatable. Um, so far. I like the physics of it. It's like realistic. I mean, it's probably more realistic than I even uh, can comprehend since like I said I'm not a huge uh, I'm not like a gigantic car person. <laughs> That's not realistic. But also, it wouldn't be fun. Although, it would be really interesting if you could get out of your car, your your vehicle, and like flip it over. But also, I feel like that would be annoying. Oh, look, some stuff. This is Scott. Let's, um, fuel up. We use one of these because there's, and then we'll do that. I'll start the vehicle. I guess we'll eat a pizza. Just get full health. Oh wait, I'm gonna shut off the vehicle. I keep taking screenshots. And then we'll get another pizza. Start my vehicle. Some of the sound effects are a little odd, but overall it's fine. It would be nice if they kind of fixed that really loud, like backing up or whatever. It just gets really loud, randomly, like too loud, like disproportionately. But other than that, the the sound's fine, I guess. I liked, I do like a lot that they added the, uh, we're doing it guys, we're doing it. I do like a lot the fact that they added the um, tracks behind Redrive. Because, like, otherwise, it, it honestly, just the fact that that detail's in there alone makes this a lot better of an experience. Oh, yeah, like, that loud sound that, like, seems just way too loud for no reason compared to, like, everything else. Unless I'm just completely ignorant about <laughs> something that I'm missing. But I'm pretty sure that it just seems too loud. Oh, some stuff. Oop, crashing into a tree. All right, we can use a toolbox now and fix our... I said heal our car. It's basically hit points. Oh, wait, shut it off. Then use this one. Get down to, like... I wish that on the menu... It only seems to do it for the food, but 
or partially. It seems a little wonky, but it's fine. It's not like a huge deal because just remember, go out of it first before you. What's that one? Yellow. Oh, well, I guess we'll use that one. Get fully repaired because why not get, do that and then get a new toolbox and have full uh, inventory. Oh, and just like that, right back to being damaged. Oh, well, I guess it's good that we use the toolbox because, oh, is there stuff? Grab the stuff. So we definitely went away that we weren't, like, supposed to, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I was about to fuel up a little bit, but it's all good. It's all good. All right. Snow. See, <laughs> you can see that there's like a path that you're kind of like, you're not, me, you're not supposed to follow the path, but like, you kind of are. Like, you can go wherever you want because we're off-roading, we can do what we want, for the most part. Except for stuff that we can't do that will make us get damaged. We can do it, but it'll damage us and it's probably bad, but, um... I like the fact that you can go where you want and you basically just need to figure out the best way, or not necessarily the best way, but the way that you want to go from point A to point B. There's lots of options. Oh god. I also just remember that there's a Monster Jam game that came out. Like, there was one that was a- I don't know if I'm going the wrong way or not. There was a Monster Jam game that came out recently. Um, one came out a while- oh god. The frame rate's a little weird right now. It's a little, little laggy, a little skippy. That's kind of disappointing. Shut off the side of this mountain and see what happens. Uh, damage, rolling, oh god, horrible. Well, that was not like the other time. And we're quite far away from our destination. Um, a monster jam came out that looks, and the screenshots that I saw for it, like, pretty good. There was a mobile game that got, like, ported onto the Switch before. I almost got it, and I thought it was just a mobile game, and I don't know. Um, I heard some bad reviews. I should have just judged it for myself. I usually don't pay that much attention to, like... I, sorry, let me, let me rephrase that. I take reviews with, with a grain of salt. Um, when people just report, like, re, when they just write a review or something like that. I take it with a grain of salt, because... <laughs> you never know what someone's tastes are, or how someone perceives something. But that's why I do these for you guys, because... Like, it's pretty easy to make a determination based off of actually seeing the gameplay for yourself. Like, beyond actually playing it and feeling it for yourself, like, but you can kind of get a pretty good idea of what a game plays like just by watching it. So, I make these gameplay videos as, like, basically a demo sort of review in a way for you guys. And, um, I've actually found out that there's at least a handful of you guys that go use these for like recommendations to uh get games so for all you guys like shout out to you that's really cool that's literally why i do this so it's really really cool when i find out that people actually are doing that so um, um, let's go i'm gonna refuel pretty soon what's nice is that if you run out of fuel it doesn't so it, the fact that it doesn't just quit end the game if you run out of fuel if you have them you can just refuel going again, so that's actually cool. Because I'd be bummed if I was like, if I had a bunch of fuel tanks. Is that one? Stop. Wait, don't I only have one? Why did that not pick it up? <laughs> oh, I don't know why. It's showing that I have one, but I have two. There we go. Um, let's use... Oh, I don't have one of those right now. Um, drink a drink. Take a drink. Oh. I keep taking screenshots. I'm going to have to go through and delete those. 
or post them, I guess, but I don't think I'm going to. Okay, how are we gonna get oh, my back just cracked? <laughs> my back just cracked and I didn't even move. Man. Okay. Maybe we can get along this top of this mountainside. I really wish that you could see further into the distance. It would just make this game that would make this game a lot better overall. Just I love mountains. Like I love the white mountains. I love just mountains. And um, it'd be really nice to be able to look in the distance and see a bunch of mountains. Like I'm on them now. Or kind kind of. I'm not gonna be able to drive over this. Or am I? Probably not. But this there's literally no way. Well, there is a way, I possibly, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Let's try it. I'm going to get stuck immediately. <laughs> Look at that. It's not not a successful trek across across this uh, <laughs> very, very narrow mountain pass, peak, whatever. I feel like I relate with like Ricky from Trailer Park Boys sometimes because I just don't know words. <laughs> Like, I know words, but then I don't remember them, and I just use random words in their place, because it serves the purpose of what I'm saying. I also Michael Scott things a lot, where I start a sentence, I don't know where it's an end, I just figure it out along the way. Is there a snorkel on this? There's a snorkel on it. Is there gonna be water that we can, like, drive on into water? Come on. Oh, no. Let's go. I don't know if I'm going to make it up this, but I want to. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Oh. <laughs> I thought I could. I thought I could. I thought I could. Oh, well. Let's go this way. This is basically... <laughs> so, like, in Skyrim, when you're trying to... <laughs> Excuse me. I, that was a cough, by the way. Um, when you're trying to go up a mountain... Like the a way that you don't have access to, but you can keep jumping up and then you jump, 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 jump. This seems to basically be like that as a game, but you're in a vehicle instead. But that's the point of the game. Uh, as long as I keep moving, I'll keep moving a little bit to the left and right. As long as I keep moving, then we're good. I just can't stop. As soon as I stop, we're done. We're done, son. I did it! We did it. Although, I don't know how fruitful this is going to be. Uh... Oh! Oh, what a tease. Stay, 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 stay. Oh, God. Right, at least we're this far. But I need to refuel. I need to fix my vehicle. I wonder if you get fully damaged vehicle, if it'll allow you to fix it, or if it's game over when that happens. Oh, I'm smoking a little bit. They're hotboxing in there. <laughs> That's really what that is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Keep going. Is it on fire? It's like almost on fire. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, if I run out of fuel. Just don't, just don't run out of fuel. Keep going. You got. The, oh, God. It's like. Bum, 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 bum. I feel like the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire music should be playing right now. Oh no. I don't know. Is if I can get some traction real quick. And I get to the side. If I lose if I run out of fuel, I'm just gonna fall backwards. I really wish there was a parking brake. I should add that in. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, I'm low on fuel. Alright. Um we'll do this. So that fills up 10, so those will go 31, um, so that would bring us to just over 50, so I won't use it yet. Um, I don't need to eat, I do need to use this. Oh, I could not use it. There we go. Nice repaired Jeep. Oh, this one doesn't have the Jeep grill, 
like the other one actually had like the one that looks like a Wrangler actually has like the grill of a Jeep. This one doesn't, but it looks like it looks a lot like a Grand Cherokee. So sort of like a Cherokee, and it's red for Kyle. I've made a lot of Kyle references in this video. I hope you watch this one, Kyle. <laughs> I know you watch this one at least a little bit. <laughs> because like it's pretty badass. I think you'd like this game honestly a lot. Here we go, America! Oh, I thought it was gonna be way... I'll take it. Because... Wow, that was a lot of damage on the, sec on the second time around. I'll take it, because I thought that was gonna be way... Uh-oh. 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 Okay, cool. Yeah, we don't want to fall down there. I thought that was gonna be way worse. Let's go! So my my whole voice and throat is just I don't know how I sound, but I do not feel good today. I do not feel good. <laughs> um, I was barely able to talk this morning. I can actually speak now, but I don't feel good. But I'm here. No. Come on, come on. You got this. You got this puppy. You got this puppy. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, then I'll get stuck at the top. Yes. Yes. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Da -da Dora, the grown up. <laughs> I love those videos. Success. Now, I don't know how far this is going. I saw when we first opened up the game, it showed like different. Um, Along that path, it showed like different destinations through Alaska. I don't know if... Also, I don't know if there was a different version of this game as well. Like the same year, but not Alaska. Ooh, it's nighttime. Put on the lights. Oh, it healed us. Or repaired us. And we still have our inventory. That's what's up. I, I forgot if it did that. It doesn't carry over damage. So that's cool. I wonder if it's gonna get like nighttime, nighttime. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. I think after this level, I'm probably gonna just hop into free free ride mode and see what that's about. I'm pretty sure it's literally just gonna be this, except for there's no destination. You just go wherever you want, which is more or less what I. Now I thought this was gonna be more of like a. I haven't played Death Stranding yet, because I just, I don't have time for PlayStation. I'm so sorry, PlayStation. I, I miss you, PlayStation. But I just don't have time for it to do everything else in my life and this. Um, or in this and that, rather. It's disappointing. But um, hopefully at some point I can get back into also playing PlayStation games. But, so my understanding of what Death Stranding is like is basically you bring items from point A to point B or something like that, which I don't know, that that interests me. I know some people wouldn't be interested in that, but that's fine with me, like exploration, like through trekking, I like that. That's literally kind of what this is. Um, I expected this to be a little bit more like that, like actual, like I thought it was gonna be sort of like missions on a map. We have to do stuff, bring something from one place to another. Um, but this is fine. Um, it almost makes more sense for it to be this than that. This is definitely worth two bucks. <laughs> um, Pokemon Shield. What up, Ashley? Um, let's see if we can get up this. I was going to make a couple of videos today. I was going to make another one on Black Flag because I love Black Flag so much. And you guys like Black Flag too. Because um, you've been asking me to play, um, play some more of it, and I want to do some more like specific ones. Like I want to do one on uh, like upgrading the ship and upgrading stuff and exploring an island and unlocking this and that. Um, but I just I've mentioned before I work a lot of hours in a week, so it uh, I don't have that much time. Uh, this isn't gonna work, is it? Well, let's just go down. Why not? 
Ooh, that's why not. You know, I'm actually just going to go to... Oh, I should have saved the game, but I didn't. I don't know what that means. Free ride mode. So, it seems like we just go back into it, but it's free ride mode. It's like the same, you pick a level. Now, what does that mean? We still have, we're still going to the destination. Oh! Oh! Okay, uh, I'm really happy that they included this in the game. Okay, word, cool, cool, cool. So, free ride mode. I don't know if you can even get damage. Um, probably not. Free ride mode does not have any of the upkeep. It just has, it has no fuel, it doesn't have the, so you can just drive and drive and drive. That's cool because sometimes maybe you just want to do that and you're just like, I don't really care about being more on the realistic side of things. You just, oh, you can have regular lights and high beams. <laughs> Those kinds of details. I didn't even see that on the, on the dashboard. Um, whatever on the uh, you I just literally I, I can't think of anything tonight sorry the speedometer which would be on the dashboard but I know it's specifically the speedometer cool I, I'm actually really happy that they have that 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 makes this game that actually raises this game a lot uh, quite a few points in my eyes just because if you don't feel like paying that much attention you just want to drive through also, I feel like I can see a little further into the distance on this map, but I wish there was less fog. I don't think Alaska is always foggy. <laughs> Alaska, perpetual fog. I also I would like to visit Alaska. At some point. If you're from Alaska, let me know in the comments below, because. That'd be cool to know that you're from Alaska. And you can shout it out and be like, hey. <laughs> I don't know. Driving. The now, I wonder if this progresses still. Like, if we complete the. Oh, and America. No, let's just fall and see what happens. Oh, of course, I didn't actually. Here we go. Oh, nice. So there is not damage. That is actually nice. Now, normally, I probably would play with the upkeep because it's more of a challenge, but, like, this is fun. It's, like, basically sandbox mode. <laughs> Ooh, so this game isn't exactly what I expected it to be, but it's relatively similar to what I expected. It's pretty much what I expected it to be, but it's a little bit different. Um, I, I like it, though. Um... It's not going to be like, you know, one of my favorite games of all time, but um, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure right now, until the, like, there's that big eShop sale that's going on, there's tons of games on sale for, uh, like, on sale. And, um, whoops. <laughs> and if you're interested in this right now, I'd hop on and try to grab it, because it's, it's literally like it's a buck eighty nine, um, you know, United States dollars. But, um, for, for that price, honestly, this is, like, cool. for, for the price of a cup of coffee, but less, actually, because coffee's pretty expensive. Even Dunkin' Donuts. Sorry, Dunkin'. Which I think is honestly a horrible, horrible decision. I get it, but I don't like it. I don't like, I don't know why they bothered to change the name from Dunkin' Donuts to Dunkin'. This is the kind of commentary that you get from my videos. You get to hear me complain about <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts rebranding their their company. I'm glad that they at least didn't call it Dunks, because, like, 
dude, like everyone, everyone in Massachusetts and New England, whatever, pretty much calls it dunks. And like, I, it is what it is, and like, it makes sense. But for some reason, I don't know why. For some reason, it just makes me cringe. For some reason, I don't know why. And I won't ever complain about it to someone if they say it. I'll complain right now about it just because I'm sharing my thoughts. But, like, if, if you say it, I don't really care. Like, I care, but I don't care. Like, I'm, like, uh, in my mind. But, like, realistically, it, isn't, it doesn't really bother me. It's just weird. <laughs> but it makes sense, and it's not really weird at all. Yeah, America! Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, this definitely, like, makes it a lot easier to go from point A to point B because you don't really care what happens. You're just kind of like, right. I was... Alright, so the the fuel... The fact that there's, like, the you have to eat food and stuff like that isn't that bad. I was worried at first because, like, I don't... Usually in games, I don't really like when that's, like, a factor so much because I'm like, eh, I just want to walk around. Like, I just like to explore. And I don't want to have to think about, like, I'm playing a game. Like, I don't want to have to focus on eating in a game because playing game. It's, it's like, I like it to be like realistic, usually, whatever, but not that realistic. But I don't mind it. Um, you find a lot of stuff. It carries over from level to level, so it's it's fun. I got stuck. Um, it lasts a I was expecting it to not last long at all, to like, deplete really quickly, and it doesn't. So, that's fine. Um, every time this happens, I take a drink, and uh, I should be talking. So, now I move on to the next one. So, it seems to kind of go back and forth between, like, snow and, um, and, like, just regular terrain. Well, the levels more or less kind of look the same. Um, there's nothing, like, super distinct about the levels, but they definitely are different. And, um, I kind of expect it to be a little more, like... difficult to get through terrain. Like, it'd have to be, like, mud and stuff like that, too. I think there's another game like this that's the same company, maybe? Um, that's more like mid-America terrain as opposed to Alaska. I think. I could be wrong. But I think I remember seeing that. So, if that's on the eShop, if that's a real game and it's on the eShop, and it's not, like, a lot of money. <laughs> um, I might grab that one, compare it as well. Um, and if you're the developer, you'd like me to play your game uh, so I could show it off to people and people might want to play it and get it because they'll be like, oh, wow, I wasn't sure about that, but now that I see it, I like it. Then feel free to hit me up, send me an email, and um, I will certainly try out any game. I don't care what it is. Um... I might. Oof. Oof. Um, oh, I like this. I actually. Uh, uh, this is cool. This is a challenge. Don't fall off the side. Yeah, I just honestly. The only things about this game that kind of are not super. Like, I'm a little bit meh. Is that you can't see very far. I'd love to be able to see, like, mountains in the distance and see where I want. Because, like, that's one thing I love about open world games. Is that you just. You can look in the distance and be like, I want to go there, and then you go to it. Like Breath of the Wild, Grand Theft Auto, Skyrim, Witcher, like, um, Black Flag. Oh, we're going, we're hauling right there. Um, that kind of stuff. So, I would have definitely preferred this to have more of a line of vision, like, off into the distance, but it's okay. Um, you, you're focusing on where you're driving currently, so I get it, but I still would like to be able to see that, because it's, visuals are a big part of, I don't know, when I play games, I like to have them look visually, like, um, not stunning, but, like, you know, I really, I kind of like, oh. And when you think Alaska, you think of, like, how it looks, so. But, like, this is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool game. And uh, for the couple bucks I paid for it on the eShop, it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. Because it's, I don't have any other games like this. Like, with this, to play like this, where you have to, the whole point of it is like traversing difficult terrain 
like usually in a game you would just kind of like go wicked fast and you just fly off this and just continue on your way but this is actually focusing on traveling through the terrain so that's you know it's pretty interesting I think I might, I might end this video because it's been an hour um, I gotta edit it down you know a little bit in the beginning, but like maybe like a minute from now, basically off the beginning. So it's pretty much exactly an hour. Drove into a tree. So we're just gonna yeet off the side of something, and then uh, oop, and then we're gonna end the video. So we're gonna find the the first place that looks like. Come on. <laughs> now that I'm like trying to do that. It just wants to get stuck. Bro. Here we go. Also, in my mind, this is Kyle driving this because... And then I'm in the passenger seat because that's my place. <laughs> but we would not yeet off the side of the mountain because then we would be dead. And that's not good. Well, not necessarily, but like... You know, we probably would it would be. Some people can survive. Ran oh, come on! I want to get up this mountain. Let's do it or kill. Us. Yes, skills. No. Skirt. Skirt. Dress. Uh, and right into a tree. Oh. Um, that hard work. Oh. Handbrake? Well, I guess this will serve as eating off a mountain. No. 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 This. No. <laughs> Every time I think I have speed, I don't. I lose it. Alright, let's just do this. Ready? Oh, no. It's just not epic enough. It just isn't epic enough. I need it to be epic. Or like, relatively epic. Or like, I don't know, entertaining. Oh, here it is. I see it now. It's all coming to fruition. I feel like it's not gonna be super epic. It's just gonna be like, sliding. Oh. Alright. Here, here it is. I'll just do it this way. And down we go. And then... Alright. And the engine's off. Alright. <laughs> so, um, this game is pretty fun. I, I like it. it. The graphics don't look exactly how I imagined them to be on, like, docked mode. Uh, I thought they were going to look a little bit better. Um, <laughs> so I am... Based off the screenshots, I think they might have used screenshots from something else. I don't know. I think they did. Um, but now you see what it looks like. Um, handheld, I don't know what it's like yet. Oh, stop saying this stuff. There we go. Um, yeah, so if this game looks interesting, right now, at this moment in time of filming, it's like two bucks in the eShop, unless it went up, but I'm pretty sure it's still that, and um, otherwise it's like 18 or 19 bucks or 20 bucks, so it's like, it's not a lot, so if this is something, something that interests you, it's relatively inexpensive one way or the other, uh, it's not a huge investment, so go pick it up in the eShop, or don't, it's your choice, but now you've seen it, so you know, you know, so yeah, um, Hit that like button if you liked this video. Uh, subscribe if you liked me. And uh, share if you think that anybody else you know would be interested in this. Because some people might like, you know, off-roading. So, yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.